my name is Beck, and welcome to my first reading vlog. Today is Friday and I have a few books that I want to get through this weekend so I might just quickly show them to you. The first one is Salvation by Peter F. Hamilton. This is a very dense sci-fi book and it's just taking me ages to get through but I'm enjoying it nonetheless. I actually got this for review and this book has since released on the 11th of September so I'm a little bit behind so I'm hoping to power through it as quickly as possible. The next books on my TBR are behind me and I like to keep them on my bedside shelf so that I can see exactly what I'll get to read next. The next book that I want to jump into is Wildcard by Marie Lu. This is talked about a lot on YouTube so I'm pretty sure you'd know what it is. In case you don't, this is set in Tokyo. It's a sci-fi and it follows virtual reality and this main character who's really poor and accidentally hacks into this world championship of a video game and everyone notices her and she's quickly tracked down by the creator of this game and then everything unfurls from there when he wants to employ her as a hacker. I have no doubt that it's going to be very fast paced and I'm very excited to get into it. I'll probably sit down and power through it in almost one sitting I reckon. I usually like to listen to an audiobook while I'm reading a physical book, not obviously at the same time, but just so that I can read more than one book at a time. So the book that I'm listening to on Audible at the moment is called The... I almost said The Painted Man. This is not The Painted Man. I'm currently participating in a read-along for September for this book by Elliot Brooks and she's another booktuber. I can't wait to discuss this one at the end of the month with everyone who participated in the read-along. I didn't actually mention these in my upcoming reads video, mostly because I filmed that before the announcement was made, but Piera and Kaz at Little Book Owl and Piera Ford are actually doing a readathon for Nevernight and Nevernight is one of my favourite books ever and I've decided to jump in and hopefully if I can fit both Nevernight in September and God's Grave in October I will read them, so I'm keeping them on my shelf. So these are the two that I want to jump into. Hopefully I can. I love this assassin revenge story about Mia and it's just amazing. So if you haven't read them, I've got a review. Please, please go and pick these up because you'll not be disappointed. And yeah, I think that about covers what I'm supposed to be reading. I was actually sneaking a look over at my bookshelf and I haven't actually shown that on my channel yet. So I might just give you a cheeky quick look. Hello, it is about 1.30 and I'm in a car park at our local shopping center. I just wanted to update you because I've been doing some housework and I've been listening to my audiobook at the same time. So I'm really loving The Black Prism. It's absolutely amazing. I am about 79% through. I'm not sure how many chapters that is. I think it's just over 70 chapters out of 95. Anyway, I'm at the shops and I'm just going in to get a snack and then I'll go back home. It's actually really nice and sunny today. So I might just go home and do some reading in the sunshine. 
Also, this shirt I'm wearing is bright and obnoxiously orange and I just wanted to point it out that I don't usually wear stuff like this. I'm going to change later into a black tank top, but just so you know, this is a Melbourne Riders Festival shirt. Ah! I'm back at home and I have changed out of my bright orange shirt. I just wanted to update you because I got book mail and I haven't received mail from Half a Voyager in a little while so I thought I'd show you what I got. It is called A Curse of Ash and Ember and I've never heard of this before. I just had a look at the tagline on the media release and it said a dead witch, a bitter curse and it seems like it is a witchcraft book set in a fantasy world. One of the taglines on this media release also says there are some problems that only witchcraft can solve and that this is an enchanting coming of age story. So it sounds like witchcraft, maybe battle, maybe secrets. I don't know. It also has a really pretty shiny cover. Hello, I have just arrived at Dave's house. I'm just in his editing room, so I'm sitting down to edit my Sanderson video, which will hopefully be up very soon. I have two hours of raw footage to go through to make it actually legible in a proper video, so wish me luck. I'm just learning how to video edit using Premiere Pro, and I've been doing pretty well so far. My last couple of videos have been edited by me rather than by Dave, so I am making progress. But I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done, considering I'm going to sink my time into this edit. So. We'll see how it goes. I do have Saturday and Sunday to finish Salvation and I've got about 100 pages left so I'm making slow but okay progress. I'm pretty happy with it to be honest. I was also reading The Black Prism on audiobook. I think I said before that I got to about 79% or something. I'm really loving it and I can't wait to listen to more. I might end up listening more to that on Monday or Tuesday before I start a temporary work assignment. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'm gonna get that done this weekend. If I'm a little bit out of breath, it's because I just climbed a bunch of stairs to get to this room. So yay, fitness. And yeah, I might just leave you there and do some editing and I'll check back in later. Bye. Hello, it is 7 a.m. on Saturday morning and I did spend yesterday editing my Sanderson video, but then I went to sleep. So today is yoga at 8 30 with Dave and then after that we're booking the final accommodation for Tokyo which is exciting and then after that tonight we've got a friend who's doing a comedy skit which we're going to in the city so I don't actually know if I'm going to get any reading done today or even editing for that matter so I'll bring you along and I'll see what happens. Hello, it is now about 9.30 at night and I have done all the things that I mentioned this morning and I managed to listen to a little bit of The Black Prism on the train in and out of the city. It is awesome and I'm loving the twists. I'm pretty sure it's going to be my next five star read which I'm pretty happy about but the book that I'm currently reading is Salvation like I've mentioned throughout this vlog and I have about 40 pages to go so I'm not quite sure if I can power through before I go to bed because I'm pretty tired but I'm gonna try because I feel like everything is going to be neatly tied off at the end or I'm entirely wrong and it's going to end on a cliffhanger and be part of a series so I guess I'll find that out if I get through these 40 pages. If I do then awesome, if I don't then I'll see you when I next update you. Good night. Hello, it is now 1.30 on Sunday and last night I actually did finish Salvation! Wow! did turn out to be book one of a series so it kind of ended on a little bit of a cliffhanger but the overall story arc wrapped up if that made sense there's like more threads that will push through into a new story I think I did enjoy it I could easily move it down to a three and a half stars or bump it up to a four and a half stars so I'm going to just sit comfortably on a four stars hopefully I'll have a review shared on my blog before this vlog goes live on my channel and if that happens I will definitely link it in the description so you can check it out but for now it is the afternoon on Sunday and I'm just going to go and have a bath and chill out and do some reading and Dave's got his own editing project to do so I can't edit any more of my Sanderson video today but it's coming along really really nicely and I'm so excited to share it. It's going to be like at least 20 minutes I reckon but it'll be worth it.
Hello, it is Monday at 10 o'clock and I'm now reading Wildcard by Marie Lou. I'm almost 80 pages in, so hopefully I can finish it either today or maybe tomorrow on Tuesday before I start my temporary work assignment. So the plan for today is to do some chores, fun, and then after that I will be taking some more Instagram photos and then I will probably go and buy a coffee because I'm a millennial and you can't not buy a coffee and I will sit down and do some reading and maybe some blog post writing later this afternoon. Hello, it is like 11.30 now and I've done all the cleaning I needed to do, I got my coffee and when I came back home I got book mail. I thought I'd unbox it on camera just to show you what I got. Can you guess what it is? It is a finished copy of Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. I did already get sent an advanced reading copy of this but it's really awesome to have a final copy as well. I can't wait to read this. This is going to be my next read after I finish Bridge of Clay because both Bridge of Clay and Muse of Nightmares come out on October 2nd. So I have a little bit of time to get both of them finished before September ends. Hello, it's almost five o'clock and I'm still reading Wild Card by Marie Lu. I want to get at least two thirds through before this day ends, so I'm gonna quickly turn off this video and then power through as much as I possibly can because there's not much light into my room when it gets a bit later, so I thought I'd wrap up today now. I'm still gonna be going through Tuesday, so I'll update you then, but for now I will be powering through Wild Card and I also listened to a bit of the Black Prism as well while I was cleaning today. So I'm about, I think, 89% through. So I'm really close to the end. I love the magic system in the Black Prism. It revolves around light and colour. And it's just amazing to read and very, very visual. So I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So yeah, I'll catch you in my next update. Hello, it is Tuesday, the last day of this reading vlog and it's around 10 o'clock in the morning. I have a couple of errands to run today, but hopefully I can finish my two current reads, which is Wild Card and The Black Prism. It will be amazing if I could finish Wild Card. I'm on about page 160 of about 350, so I'm chasing halfway through. And for The Black Prism, I only have two and a half hours of the audiobook left, so this is entirely doable. After I finish those two books, I'll be working on what's behind me, and that is Bridge of Clay and then Muse of Nightmares. So yeah, I will update you later. You know when you're supposed to be doing stuff, but you sit on Twitter for like 20 minutes? Same. Hello, so I am just in the car, but before I left, I checked the mailbox and I got a package. I really don't know how I'm gonna do this one-handed. I'm trying not to look at it before you guys see it too. It is Light Years by Cass Morgan, the author who wrote the book series for The 100. I actually adore The 100 TV show, but I haven't read the books. I started them and they seemed a little bit cliche and had different characters than the show, so I didn't end up finishing it, but this is something new altogether, so I'm interested to see what this is about. Already I'm reading the blurb and I'm not quite sure if it's my jam. I'll just read you the last sentence of the blurb. It says, These cadets from across the galaxy will have to put their differences aside and become a team if they want to defend their world from a cunning enemy, and they might even fall in love in the process. And this comes out on the 9th of October. Because it says fall in love, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to feel about this because I don't really care about romance in my books. If it takes a backseat and the plot is in the front and the characterization is in the front, then it'll be more so up my alley. But if it's got the romance driving all of the decisions, then it's not really something that will be for me. But we'll see how this goes. It looks really cool and I love this cover, even though it has people on it. Hello, it is about three o'clock and I'm going to probably wrap up the vlog here. I'll just tell you what I've hauled these past couple of days and what I've read and finished these couple of days. I'm wrapping it up in the afternoon because the sun keeps going in and out and it gets cloudy and non-cloudy and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to have enough daylight to film it if I film it any later than three. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. So for the books I've hauled, I got a Curse of Ash and Ember, a gorgeous finished copy of Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor, and a surprise advanced reading copy of Light Years by Cass Morgan. I sat down to film this wrap up and as I was finishing I got another package so I'm just going to unbox it really quick. 
I feel like this wouldn't be a booktube video if I didn't unbox something with my keys. Dun, dun, dun. This book is called The Survivors and it's from Simon & Schuster Australia, so thank you SNS. The tagline says, directly I saw him, I knew he had to die. This sounds more like a crime thriller mystery kind of story and that's not usually the type of book that I gravitate to, but it was really kind of them to send this to me anyway. I think I timed this vlog quite well by accident because I don't usually get this much book mail in a couple of days. Now as for the books I've read, I managed to slog through the last couple of hundred pages of Salvation by Peter F. Hamilton and I'm so pleased that I finished this because I didn't finish a book from the 28th of August to mid-September. I think I was in a bit of a reading slump but having to read this and report back on camera kind of held me accountable for my reading which made me push through and I'm really happy that I finished it. I gave this a four stars. I will definitely talk about this more in a proper reading wrap up when I film one. The next book that I've almost finished is an audiobook and that is The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. I've got just under an hour of this book to go so I'm pretty sure I'll get through the rest of that this afternoon after I finish filming this vlog. I'm predicting this will be a five star read. I mean I've got less than an hour to go and I'm loving it so. And lastly for the books that I've been reading is Wildcard, as you can probably guess. I have about 150 pages of this left to go and I don't know what's wrong with me. I think my reading slump is still kind of hanging on because I've just been watching booktube videos and YouTube videos and just playing on my phone and scrolling through Twitter instead of actually picking this book up to read it, which is quite annoying. So hopefully either later on after I finish filming this vlog or maybe during the week after I finish temporary work, I will get through finishing this and then writing a review for it. And there you go, this is basically what I read and hauled over the past couple of days. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I had a lot of fun filming it, even though it was a little bit challenging because I've never done one before. So please leave me a comment, let me know how you thought, let me know if you've read any of the books that I showed you. I would love to hear from you. But thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!